A new human study shows that collagen supplements significantly reduce wrinkles around the eyes after only 12 weeks of treatment. Let's dive into the details of this study to see if we can rely on the results and at the end of the video I'll share with you how this changes what I do with collagen supplements. The paper starts by outlining that ultraviolet radiation exposure from the sun stimulates the inflammatory response and oxidative stress in human skin, resulting in the degradation of collagen. So collagen is quite a ropey structure, it keeps everything together. And this breakdown of collagen results in fine to deep wrinkles, also known as skin aging. Now, several experiments and randomized controlled trials have been conducted over the last two decades to determine the impact of collagen supplements on skin health. For example, we've got this meta-analysis that combined 10 separate clinical studies, and the evidence from these studies shows that oral supplements of collagen, they significantly improve skin health. However, many of the existing clinical trials have failed to explain the underlying mechanisms in depth. Therefore, it is necessary to conduct a series of studies to cohesively address the mechanisms of action for the efficacy and safety in humans. The authors hypothesized that supplementation of low molecular weight collagen peptides could improve skin aging by providing a scaffold for the collagen repair and regrowth. So let's just go back a step for a moment. Collagen are long ropey structures and our body will struggle to absorb those ropey structures as a supplement. So collagen peptides are where those long chains of collagen are chopped up into smaller pieces or peptides. Those peptides can then be absorbed. Now for this study they looked at low molecular weight collagen peptides. What that means is very small chains of collagen peptides instead of slightly longer ones. So this study is a randomized controlled study on facial aging in Asian skin after 12 weeks of supplementation with low molecular weight collagen peptides. That's important. All participants were randomly assigned to either take the collagen peptides or a placebo in a one-to-one -one ratio. One tablet had 500 milligrams of the collagen peptides and the participants, they took two tablets twice a day. Now, when doing a skin study like this, it's important that we have objective outcomes. So what I mean by this is that we don't just simply want to look at the skin with the human eye to make a judgment as to whether the collagen peptides are going to work or not. Ideally, we want photos taken and those photos to be objectively measured by a computer system. And that's exactly what we see in the study, where the authors they measure the wrinkles around the eyes by using a three-dimensional measuring method. In addition, two separate dermatologists who didn't know who was in which group independently evaluated the wrinkles around the eyes to make sure that we've got another objective measurement. A total of 84 people completed the study. And before the study began, there were no significant differences between the two groups. So so we are comparing apples to apples. And before we get into the results, we've now got over 150 patrons who are accelerating their own longevity journey and supporting the rapamycin clinical study. So thank you all so much for your support. And if you do want to check out this program, make sure to check out the card in the corner or the link in the pinned comment. The authors found that the group who were taking the collagen supplements, they had significantly reduced wrinkles around their eyes, and this reached statistical significance. This is incredibly exciting. We can actually see reversal of wrinkles around the eyes by using collagen supplements. Furthermore, the collagen supplements were well tolerated and there was no reports of severe adverse events. Now, this paper is interesting because it focused on low molecular weight collagen peptides. So remember, this is where the collagen is chopped into very short chains. And the authors say that they wanted to focus on the low molecular weight collagen peptides because the high molecular weight collagen peptides, they decompose in the stomach quickly and do not reach the skin. The paper finishes by concluding that in this randomized placebo-controlled clinical trial, it's it suggests that low molecular weight collagen peptides effectively improve photo-aged and dry skin while showing a favorable safety profile. The current collagen supplement that I use is from a company called Do Not Age, but I don't know if this is a low molecular weight collagen supplement, so I'll reach out to Do Not Age and as soon as I hear back from them, I'll update the pinned comment. The other thing I'll mention is that this study, it used a very low dose, so only one gram twice a day. Now the dose that I take is between 10 to 15 grams every day. Personally, I'll still be using that higher dose, but it will be interesting for further studies to evaluate whether there is a dose response, whether we will be seeing further benefits for our skin by taking that higher dose, or whether we can save our money by taking a lower dose. 
Time will tell. And while we can see from the study that collagen supplements do seem to have incredible benefits for our skin, make sure to check out this next video here on other strategies that we can use to protect our skin and look younger than our age. A massive thank you to donotage.org for their $10,000 donation to my rapamycin study. They are a health research organization, and to benefit from their ingredients as well as a 10% discount code, check out the pinned comment.